When my father was re-engaged to look into the Opera House, he realized the way it has been used has changed over time and therefore demands certain adjustments. But you also have to maintain the integrity of the Opera House. This is Australia's house. It's the most heavily visited destination in Australia and our foremost performance venue. The Opera House has worked its guts out for the last 40 years, and now it's time to renew it for future generations of artists, audiences and visitors. The proposed digital screens under the steps be very parallel to my father's ideas for large artworks in that location. Renewal returns more of the Opera House to the public, to the 8.2 million people who visit it every year and to the people of New South Wales and Australia to enjoy this magnificent place. I think many of the changes proposed are wonderful expressions of the continuous efforts that go into making the Sydney Opera House useful for the coming generations. Utzon always intended that the building stay alive and relevant to the next generation. So renewal is the right thing to undertake. The Creative Learning Centre is essentially going to be the headquarters for these really innovative and interactive sessions for children all around the country. The Function Centre is finally being brought into the building itself and that will allow us a clear view of the building as Utzon intended. Renewal is also about welcoming more of the community, including people with disability who face special challenges in, in coming here. We want everyone to feel welcome and to be welcome at the Opera House. When these steps were built, they were built with inspiration in mind rather than accessibility. It's time that all changed. With these changes, I get to go places in the Opera House I've never been before. As we develop these designs, we're carefully balancing our heritage and our future. We're incredibly lucky to have Utzon's design principles, as well as a conservation plan to guide the evolution of this magnificent building. The Sydney Opera House obviously is an incredible iconic building. It's been a fabulous home for the Sydney Symphony Orchestra for the past 40 years. I would say that uh, for the first time the hall will deliver what it is that uh, the original fathers who produced this incredible building wanted it to do. But for me the real winners will be the audiences. People will be able to come and sit and enjoy the greatest orchestras in the world right here in this hall with one of the greatest acoustics in the world. Today the concert hall is used for classical music as it always has been, but increasingly for the greatest contemporary music acts as well as for talks and ideas. This is a really historic moment. What we're doing is the most major set of capital works that have been undertaken at the Opera House since it opened in 1973.